Social media live streams are a prominent feature to the internet as they gain millions of viewers every day. Streams usually consist of gaming, vlogs, or some other popular category of content. As I said, millions of people enjoy these live streams, but every now and then, an incident or something disturbing will occur on stream to thousands of people. Inside this video, I'll be going over an iceberg of live streaming incidents. The iceberg also doesn't go in order from how well things are known, but rather how disturbing it is. With all that said, let's dive into it. Alt F4 Alt F4 is a computer shortcut that closes whatever application you have open whenever you press it. Many streamers get told to press the buttons in order for something to happen, but they actually get tricked into ending the stream or the game they play. I'm fucking sorry, Tom! Playmate Tessie. This girl may seem familiar, and it's because her whole 15 minutes of fame went down a, about a year ago. She's often regarded as the most disliked streamer and for good reason. She's made lots of bad comments on people, but one of the worst ones was when she laughed at someone for having cancer, and even threatened to take their cancer treatments away. The video is pretty tame, but it'll make you want to punch your screen. Bat, you're ugly, you look deformed, you're poor, and you have cancer and no hair, and your wig's crooked, by the way, fix that. Take off your wig. Don't be a pussy, take off your wig, leukemia. <laughs> you have fucking cancer. Puking on stream. Everyone pukes, and unfortunately, some people do it on live streams. This doesn't specify a particular event that's happened, but rather any time it's happened, and it's happened a lot. That was a lot of it's happened in a sentence. Um, I don't feel like putting puke clips right here, but it's online if you like that stuff. I personally don't. PewDiePie. I feel like everyone knows what I'm going to talk about, as it was one of the biggest uh, internet stories in 2017. This of course is when PewDiePie was playing a game on his stream, uh, PUBG, and then said the n-word. It seems to have aged pretty well though. Caught hacking. With almost every game there is, there is going to be someone who hacks it for their own advantage. Many people have been exposed for hacking on stream, but the most infamous case of this is a streamer by the name of Miss Q Gemini. Mid game, she starts to get shot at and doesn't die, and then she pops up here, a mod menu. After that, she starts to say it's a glitch, and then blames it on her friend Clara for putting the mods on her computer. Real believable. I don't think she has streamed uh, ever since, and her Steam profile has been abandoned since the incident. <gasps> Wait, what the fuck? Clara! Hold on, Clara, give me one second. Clara. Let me just message this girl, give me one second. Why the fuck is this on my computer right now? Angel Hamilton. Angel, or commonly known as Zillion OP, was a handicapped streamer who had claimed to be paralyzed from the waist down. He had gained a good following and commonly played video games. While he didn't force his viewers to donate for his disability, he did gain over thousands of dollars to support his condition. That being said, Zillion had made his way on his wheelchair in front of a live stream, not knowing his camera was on. Soon after that, he had stood up and walked off. So he wasn't paralyzed? His internet presence was soon met with lots of hate and backfire for this lie of him not being able to walk. He had eventually refunded his viewers for the subscriptions and donations and he wasn't seen on the internet for a long time, until 2020. Wavy Websurf did a video on Zillion's comeback and it's pretty interesting so I recommend you to watch that. It personally made me think that Zillion isn't as bad of a guy that uh, people make him out to be. Fans arriving at houses. This can refer to any time fans show up to a streamer's house. In recent memory, this had happened to Alinity, um, and you'll see her later on the list. She had said that her fans were asked to leave, and the stalkers had gone on to type the color of her house in the chat, and even looked through her windows while she was streaming. Cyberpunk says scene. Cyberpunk was a very popular game in early 2021, and not gonna lie, the game was, uh, was a letdown, but it also didn't appeal to me very much. Uh, but that doesn't matter. Many streamers were showcasing the new game, and some didn't know about the seg scene. It looks pretty real, so I'd imagine that some streamers got in trouble for showing it, but... Yeah. Fortnite Black Hole. The unknown video game Fortnite was having a black hole event, and it's been a little too long since I've played that game to tell you what the end game event was about, but that's irrelevant. While one streamer was researching it on Twitter, he had found a post of a guy showing his, uh, black hole. Take what you will from that. Arab Andy. 
2017 had a huge trend known as IRL streams. People had been doing this before 2017, but this year had many uh, prominent figures like Ice Poseidon, Andy Milanakis, and many more. Because of Andy, there were many uh, copycats that would go out and stream their life like him. There was Asian Andy, because he's Asian, and then there was Arab Andy. Arab Andy grew to fame for having no restrictions for what he would do on Ice Poseidon's live streams. While he quickly grew to have a following, it would all crash down because of this clip. I think so. C4 has been successfully activated. Bomb detonation countdown successfully started. He would also be sentenced to prison, but dodged that with the plea of him not making content anymore. Swatting Swatting is whenever a viewer calls the authorities of the streamer's hometown and reports that the streamer has done something illegal, sometimes going as far as saying the streamer has killed someone. Whenever the viewer makes the uh, prank call, the cops or actual SWAT team will break and enter into the streamer's house. From what I've seen, this hasn't happened as much as it used to like 4 years ago, but it likely still happens. It's not very funny, well, not funny at all, and most people would agree. There was actually a swatting incident in 2017 where two guys got into a fight over Call of Duty, and it eventually ended up with an innocent person being shot to death, so rest in peace to him. Angel Walks Angel is a streamer who plays video games. While streaming one day, one of his family members starts to yell hysterically. Angel starts to get up and check on what's happening and comes back to the stream to say his brother had died. He has allegedly said that he doesn't want to talk about it, and I think everyone should respect it. I don't think this guy's streaming career should be defined by this moment, but I'm glad he's doing better. No, fucking hey guys, I'm sorry, my, my brother just died. I have to go. No. What? Sarah's cat. This clip is very infamous in the Twitch community, and when I was younger watching this clip, it used to scare me a lot. Anyways, Twitch streamer Sarah Kate was playing some Black Ops 2, and while in the lobby, she went back to kiss her cat, and the cat scratched her back. She then shows the stream her bloody eye, and it's pretty bad, but she seems to have made a full recovery. And that's good. Ice Poseidon. Ice Poseidon is essentially the guy who made IRL streaming so popular. While he's had lots of funny moments on his live streams, there have been some disturbing ones nonetheless. I'd say the most eerie occurrence on his stream was when he was walking down the streets of Hollywood and came across someone who was contemplating soup on the side. While ice doesn't show it, we can guess the person was hanging off the side of a building. Thankfully, they didn't go through with it and Ice Poseidon didn't livestream it. And that's a good thing. Yo, what the, what the fuck, yo? This guy's about to jump. Dude, dude, don't. Oh, dude, I can't livestream this, dog. This dude's legit about to jump, dude. Yo, do not do. Yo, what the fuck, dog? Bro, you ain't Spider-Man. I feel like... You ain't Spider-Man. Guy Brent's house down. I don't know the name of this guy and the clip is pretty old, but he was streaming himself lighting a match on fire. Everything escalates really quickly and while it could have been easily avoided, I feel a little bad for the guy. <laughs> VR epilepsy attack. I remember seeing this entry a while back, and while I'm pretty sure this happened on a live stream, there's a possibility that uh, it was just someone recording what happened. I don't remember the original uploader as they've taken down their video, but there have been re-uploads of this. That being said, VR Chat is an online game in where people can go to custom worlds with any avatar you could think of. This all takes place right in front of your eyes with the virtual reality headset if you didn't know. The person recording ended up catching someone having a seizure, and their body in game showed what was happening in real life. While I didn't know the direct cause of what happened to this person, many people believe it was because of this person's skin, which seems very dangerous to people who have epilepsy. Alinity Catabuse 2019 was a big year for the Twitch streamer Alinity, and seemingly because a lot of accusations came out that she's just not a good person. From divorcing her husband for Canadian citizenship to abusing her cats, allegedly, her name was getting tossed around a lot. 
Anyways, there were two big events regarding her and her cat. The first being her drinking some alcohol, and then letting her cat lick the alcohol off of her lips, and the cat didn't like it because the cat can literally die from it. While it didn't seem deliberate, and isn't enough alcohol to kill a cat, it doesn't make it okay. Another thing that happened was when she was playing a game, and the cat got in the way, and so what do you do? You throw the cat of course. Cats always land on their feet, but many people thought the cat throwing was pretty aggressive, and it, it, pretty, it is. Don't worry though, the cat got revenge. Corksia. Cor cor Coria? I, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce this streamer's name, but I think he has a following in the Spanish community. I won't show footage for this one regarding the bad time the streamer was in, uh, in their life. But basically, he had live streamed his frustrations with online bullies, all while holding a gun to his head. Thankfully, he didn't go through with it, and I hope he's doing better now. Jake and Bake saves girl. Jake and Bake is an IRL streamer who vlogs all over the world. He seems like a good guy, but it really shows when he helps someone who needed his help. I believe he was in Japan and was streaming with a group of friends. Then out of nowhere, a girl goes and hugs the streamer. He seems confused because he didn't know her, but then everyone gathers that she had been followed by this weird guy. One of the girls that Jake was with then helps her walk away, and everything was fine. Wreckful's last stream. Wreckful was a popular Twitch streamer who had a large audience that would always tune into his streams. He was just a good guy, but his Twitch chat consisted of a bunch of assholes. While there were good people who were there to support him, he saw a lot of people that thought otherwise, and it made him really upset. I mean, it was just a really toxic environment in his Twitch chat, and if you go back and see his uh, old streams where he confronted it, it's just really hard to watch knowing now what happened, but anyways. He would go on to take his life shortly after a live stream and where he seemingly seemed happy. He had brought up his mental health in the past and tweeted before his suicide that he was sorry for anyone that dealt with his insanity. There wasn't a direct reason for why he did this, but many speculate it's because of the toxic online community that surrounded him, but I'd say that was a smaller factor in comparison with his already bad mental health. I was a big fan of when he would talk about or play Everland, the game he made. It's just a sad situation, but uh, it doesn't get any better down the iceberg, so if you're not liking it, then you should probably go. And it's not a bad thing, but this part of the iceberg is where it gets uh, sensitive, so it's okay if you want to go. But that being said, let's go down. Mr. Deadmoth. Mr. Deadmoth was a Fortnite streamer who had a pregnant wife. While streaming a game one day, his wife would continuously call him to eat dinner, with him refusing to eat. After the final call for the streamer to eat with her, he had gotten up and started to hit her and aggressively beat her on stream. She wouldn't be injured and Deadmoth would end up avoiding jail time. It was speculated that his significant other was also abusive to him. Joe Daddy Joe Daddy is personally my worst uh, person on the list, in my opinion. This guy is just a piece of trash. If you're sensitive to grape, I'd skip ahead like 30 seconds. Anyways, this pile of trash was a popular NBA 2K streamer, and that doesn't really matter. While streaming one day, he went to take a break and turned off his camera, but the audio was still on. What followed was 6 minutes of this guy beating in grape his girlfriend. Some of the audio can be found on YouTube, but I wouldn't bother watching it. It's really disturbing and frustrating to listen to. After this, Joe Daddy would go on to confess to hating his partner but blamed it on alcohol abuse and the recent death of his father. He would go on to remove his social media accounts. It was rumored that he was put into a mental hospital, but I don't think anyone could figure out if that was true or not. Whether the case, I hope the girl is with someone better now. Roro-chan Roro-chan was a young Japanese streamer who had a fairly small audience. She would often stream herself playing the piano and doing dangerous stunts for recognition. She would only be 14 years old when she would stream her suicide, and where she jumped off the balcony from a tall building. The chat had also been telling her to do it, saying that she'd be a legend if she followed through with it. There were other people who told her to stop, but they would be drowned out by the trolls. She wouldn't die on impact, but died a little afterwards. I don't recommend watching her final live stream, but the sound of her hitting the ground or whatever she fell onto is very hard to listen to. It's really loud and it's just, once again, a sad situation as most things on the list. Facebook Live Suicide Unfortunately, livestream suicides have become very common within the last decade. While some gain traction for whatever reason, this one gained lots of popularity for all the wrong reasons. I'm sure you have heard of the man called Ronnie McNutt. 
Ronnie was a former army veteran and suffered from PTSD. His family and friends would go on to say that he was a great guy, but his life would come to an end in 2020. He had gone on to Facebook Live and talked about frustrations with his life and eventually shot himself with what seemed to be a shotgun. I don't recommend you to watch the video or any of the videos that are left on the list. They're all pretty bad. His final moments haven't ended on that live stream though, but rather went on to be posted millions of times on the internet. A popular trend on TikTok was to post a normal video and then cut to the part where Ronnie had ended his life. Stas Reflay Stas Reflay was a 33 year old Russian YouTuber. He would do live streams with his girlfriend, but his final one would be fatal. His chat would donate him money, with certain amounts meaning that he would do something to his girlfriend. Someone would go on to donate $1,000 to make Stoss put his girlfriend outside in sub-zero temperatures. He would also force her to be outside in only her underwear. By the time he had gone back to take his girlfriend back inside, it was too late. This piece of shit would only get 6 years in prison, which really confuses me. Also, rest in peace to the girl, Valentina Grigorieva. New Zealand Massacre In 2019, Brenton Tarrant would go on a killing spree inside of two mosques. He would go on to livestream the entire event in a point of view type angle. Before the event, he had also said subscribe to PewDiePie in reference to the ongoing PewDiePie vs T-Series thing. It's not really relevant, but it just shows you um, how out of touch he was with what he was about to do. He would go on to murder many people and is now serving a life sentence. So rest in peace to all 51 who perished. Facebook Live Killer on April 16th of 2017, Steve Stephens, Steve Stephens, uh, I'm gonna say Stephens. Steve Stephens would uh, pull out his phone and live stream him shooting an innocent old man on Facebook Live. When he first started the live stream, he had said that he is going to kill the first person he sees, and unfortunately, it ended up being 74-year-old Robert Lee Godwin. When approaching the man, he had told Godwin to say the name Joy Lane, and said that she is the reason that this is about to happen to you. Shortly after this, he would go on to shoot Godwin, killing him instantly. Joy Lane was an innocent woman who had done nothing other than being an ex of Steve. There would soon be a massive manhunt for Steve after the livestream, but the police would eventually catch him two days later on April 18th. The police had done a pit maneuver and knocked Steve off the road. When the police had approached him, he shot himself dead. Another sad part of the story is that Godwin had just got done spending Easter with his family and went out to collect cans for some money. Wingsuit Livestream Armin Schmeider was an Italian wingsuiter. He had loved to go wingsuiting and decided to do a Facebook Live when doing so. His last livestream would be fatal though. He had put his phone in his pocket, which was inside of the wingsuit, and would talk in German. His last words would be, Today, you fly with me, followed by him waving at the camera. What soon follows is him leaping off what I assume to be a mountain, and something goes wrong, and he starts to fall onto the ground below him. You can hear him scream before he hits the ground, and after this is just the sound of him tumbling down the mountain he had been on. Someone who was watching the live stream had told Armin to write or say something uh, when, I, when all was said and done, but he would never respond. He was only 28 years old, and he seemed like a really nice guy. This video took me a while to make, and I hope it came out informative, and uh, I hope it was nice to look at. If you have any critiques, tell me in the comments, or if you have any good feedback, tell me anyway. I'm wanting to make more content like this, so if you're interested, be sure to subscribe. 2022 is my year, and I'm hoping you'll join it with me.